Hey there, everyone. It's James here, and uh, I'm super excited to talk to you all today about something that I've been getting a ton of questions about. A lot of you have been asking, James, what's the best audio editing software out there for Ubuntu? And you know what? That's a, a fantastic question, especially for you audio audiophiles and podcasters working with, you know, the Linux environment. So um, what I've done is I've put together a little list of some of my favorite audio editing tools, yeah. that are like a, a dream on Ubuntu. And trust me, whether you're a beginner just starting out or maybe you're a seasoned pro looking for some new tricks, I've got something for everyone. Now, I know how important it is to get the right tool for the job, right? And audio editing is no joke. We want something powerful, but also user friendly, something that won't have you pulling your hair out, but will have your tracks sounding, you know, just perfect. Before we dive in, just a, a quick reminder, if you're interested in any of the software, I'm going to mention you don't have to scramble to write anything down. I've got you covered. All the links to the products are going to be right down there in the description. All right, let's get rolling and talk about what's going to help you make some sweet, sweet sounds on Ubuntu. Stay tuned. All right, so um, let's talk about Adobe Audition, which is honestly one of those tools that can be a real game changer if you're into audio editing. Now, straight off the bat, I've got to mention that Adobe Audition isn't natively available for Ubuntu, which is kind of a bummer. But don't let that discourage you because there's good news. You can still get it running with the help of Wine or Play on Linux. These tools are essentially compatibility layers that allow you to run Windows software on Linux-based systems. Now, once you've got an Audition up and running, man, you're in for a treat. It's got a super sleek interface, which might be a bit intimidating at first, I won't lie to you. But once you get the hang of it, it's incredibly efficient. The way it lets you work with multiple tracks and an insane amount of effects and plugins available are just mind-blowing. It's got um, noise reduction, advanced compression, EK, and, well, the list just goes on and on. Let's talk about one feature that I think is super cool, uh, the spectral frequency display. Uh, this thing is like, uh, it's like having x-ray vision for your audio. You can literally see the sounds, the noises, and it's all color-coded based on frequency. So when you're trying to, let's say, remove an annoying chair squeak from, uh, from your podcast, you just isolate it visually and bam, it's gone. Now, the biggest drawback, and it's a big one, it's a big one, is, of course, the cost out of Audition is part of Adobe's creative cloud. So it's subscription-based, which can add up. But to be honest, if you're doing a lot of audio work and you need something professional grade, it could be totally worth it. For casual users, though, uh, that price tag m might just be a little too steep. Anyway, that's my take on Adobe Audition for Ubuntu. It's a little tricky to get it set up, but once you do, it's audio editing gold. All right, let's talk about Audacity, which is um, definitely one of my top picks when it comes to audio editing mm -hmm. software for Ubuntu. Now, Audacity is free, and that's a huge plus, right? But beyond that, it's incredibly powerful for a tool that doesn't cost you a dime. It's like you get a full suite of audio processing features from simple recording and editing to more complex stuff like noise reduction and audio effect. Um, the interface might seem a bit intimidating at first glance because there are a bunch of buttons and controls, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty straightforward. I mean, it's all about the tracks and you can easily cut, copy, paste, or delete sections of audio. Plus Audacity supports multiple tracks so you can layer sounds and you know really get creative with your projects. And, uh, for Ubuntu users, Audacity is a great fit because it's super stable and integrates well with the system. It also supports a wide range of file formats, so you're not limited in what you can work with. Now, installing it is a breeze too. You can usually find it in the software center or you can download it directly from the Audacity website. And you know, if you do run into trouble, there's a ton of resources and community support out there since it's open source. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. I mean, Audacity doesn't offer some of the advanced features that paid uh, software might, might, but it's a robust tool for most users, especially if you're dabbling in podcasting music or just need to clean up some audio. So all in all for Ubuntu users, Audacity is mm, definitely a top contender when it comes to audio editing on a budget. It strikes a good balance of uh, depth and accessibility. So uh, let's talk about Linux Multimedia Studio. If you're not into the whole brevity thing, you know, it's a really solid choice for audio editing, especially if you're running Ubuntu. Now, one thing that's super cool about LMS is that it's free, right? Open source and all that good stuff. It's actually pretty amazing when you consider 
how much this program lets you do without spending a penny. Um, so what can you actually do with this editor? It's well geared towards musicians and producers with features for mixing, synthesizing, and arranging music. You've got this variety of built-in instruments and effects, which is pretty neat for experimenting. Plus, it supports VST plugins, which, as you know, opens up like a whole world of additional instruments and effects in the interface. Some people find it a bit intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite intuitive. There's a song editor, a beat baseline editor, FX mixer, and, and um, you can even connect it to your MIDI keyboard if you have one, which is pretty handy. Now, one downside, and you know, it's something to keep in mind that is that it might not have like all the advanced features that the pros look for, but come on, for most users, it's more than enough. The community is fantastic too. There are lots of tutorials out there if you ever feel stuck. And because it's open source, you'll find that new stuff is being added all the time by developers around the world. In conclusion, uh, Linux Multimedia Studio is pretty solid, especially if you're starting out and you're not looking to splash out a lot of cash. You're getting tons of features to play with, regular updates in a community that's there to help. Yeah, it's not a professional grade DA de bois, but for the average user on Ubuntu who's diving into the world of audio production, mm -hmm. it's a great choice. And um, who knows, it might be just what you need to kickstart your music making journey. So um, today we're going to be looking at Ocean Audio, right? So this audio editing software, that's really gaining some traction, especially among the Ubuntu users out there. Now, the first thing I want to say is it's pretty great. Uh, for those who don't want to dive into the complexities of professional software, you get it. Like some of those tools out there, they can be overwhelming, but Ocean Audio keeps it straightforward. Um, on the surface, you've got this clean interface, not too cluttered, which I appreciate. Um, Sometimes you fire up an audio editor and it's like, whoa, where do I even start? But with Ocean Audio, you jump in and it's kind of intuitive, you know, whether you want to cut tracks, adjust levels or apply some effects. It's all just a few clicks away. And speaking of effects, there's a good selection baked in. Plus, it supports VS plugins, which is real handy for expanding your toolkit without, you know, breaking the bank. Now, another cool aspect is the real-time preview of the effects. You can play around with the settings and hear the changes live without having to apply and undo repeatedly. That's a time saver for sure. And it allows you to be more creative with your edits because you can tweak things on the fly and hear how it all pans out. Really neat for those who like to experiment. Okay, but um, let's talk performance too. Oaken Audio is surprisingly light on the system. It doesn't hog resources, which is a big plus for those running older hardware or just wanting to keep their system nimble. And when it comes to dealing with large files, I've found that it remains pretty stable, which you know is sort of a make or break for audio editing. You don't want your software crashing mid-edit. That's just, it's frustrating as all heck. Overall, Oaken Audio, it's a solid choice for casual and intermediate users on Ubuntu. It gets the job done without much fuss and it's definitely worth giving a try. Hey everyone, James here. Um, so that was my rundown of the best audio editing software you can get your hands on for Ubuntu. I really hope it helps you make that choice for your next amazing audio project, because let's face it, good software can make all the difference, right? Now, if you're looking to grab any of the tools I've talked about in this video, just dive into the, the description below. All the links you need are right there, super easy to find. And well, if you've got a minute, go on and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps a ton and you'll get notified whenever I drop more software reviews or tutorials, which uh, I think you're not gonna wanna miss. Oh, and if anything I said today sparked a question or uh, you wanna share your own experiences with audio editing software on Ubuntu, don't be shy. Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm always lurking around there and I'd love to chat with you all. Lastly, do check out my other videos for more tech tips and tricks. There's a whole bunch waiting for you. And who knows, you might find something that's just perfect for what you need. All right, then that's it for this one. I'll catch you all in the next video. Keep editing and stay creative, folks.